So here we have three very fine lads making up Team Bullet Train from Takara's Car Robots line. And yes, these aren't cars, I know. Look, I didn't make up the name for the series, okay? We have J4, J5 and J7, which you might know elsewhere as Midnight Express, Rail Spike and Rapid Run respectively. And look, if you're interested in the differences between the Robots in Disguise line and Car Robots from the early 2000s, head over to TF Wiki, alright? Or bug Chris McFeely to do a basics episode on them. Just don't bother me, okay? First off, it is great to see alt modes like this. It's rare to see trains in general with Transformers, and most of the time we're talking about old-fashioned steam locomotives, so having these sleek bullet trains is a bit of a treat. Each has a hitch on the back, you can use them to connect all three trains together, and pull them along, if if you like. You know, it's a nice feature, you know, I'm being a little bit dismissive, this is great. Our first lad is J5, or Real Spike if you're nasty, and they're a real looker, aren't they, with that translucent dome and the crisp, clean white of the deco with a hint of blue. It's wonderfully satisfying to hold, and the only thing I think that lets them down are the overhanging parts at the back, but connect the hitch part and it's a non-issue. You're worrying about nothing here. Transformation's fairly simple, just elongate the body and the nose cone becomes these very classy shoulder pads. At first, I didn't think Real Spike would have much of a range of movement, but you'd be surprised. You'd be like this. <gasps> We've got a great head sculpt and he feels good and solid in hand. His weapon is this odd gun thing. I mean, you could probably use it as a sword. The instructions say you can put batteries in it, but I saw that it only shines a red light when you press the button, so I'm sparing us both the indignity of having to see that. J7, or Rapid Run, feels like the odd middle child of the set. He's got a much darker colour scheme overall, which makes him stand out but it does look like a cosier train for some reason. I think I would most like to travel in this one out of the three. I love the detail on the windows and that impressive sculpting carries right throughout the set. We're missing the missile or trailer hitch for this guy, unfortunately, but I'm not missing it too badly. Transforming Rapid Run is just as intuitive as Rail Spike, the biggest difference being that you have to remove this piece of the roof, which we'll see return for the robot mode, and the nose cone becomes the chest this time. Rapid Run feels like a bit of a weirdo. They share Rail Spike's narrow hips, but not their opposing potential. Luckily, both have these stabilizers. You can fold out their heels if you want to get wacky, and the roof section becomes this big, flat missile launcher, but without the missile, it can be a big shield, and I prefer it that way if I'm honest. And last up is Midnight Express, a big smooth boy with a lot of upsides. Again, the attention to detail and the paint application is so crisp and neat, I'm just very impressed with the alt modes overall. Getting Midnight Express into the robot mode is a little different to the others. While Rail Spike and Rapid Run have their narrow hips, Midnight Express goes in the complete opposite direction, giving them some real junk in the trunk. It's really interesting how they essentially turned the body sideways for this one, rather than the top to bottom method for the other two. He's a little bit more poseable than you'd expect with his big blocky hips and legs, and we get this missile launcher too, which can fire. Trust me. And I might be reaching a little bit here, but for some reason he gives me big brake vibes. Big break! So that's Team Bullet Train, definitely a mixed bag in the robot modes, but I cannot fault those trains. Absolutely top tier alt modes. Combining the three into JRX is a strange process. Midnight Express becomes the legs super easily, you're just really folding the head and the arms away. And Real Spike doesn't take much either, his legs become the arms of the combiner, and this chest piece folds up to form the head. Rapid Run feels a bit more superfluous than the other two, to be honest. He doesn't feel like he really needs to be there, but they do have the most involved transformation out of the three. And they all clip together fairly well. It feels sturdy. Like It's not going to come apart when you start posing it, and just look at them. I mean, GRX or, or Rail Racer, if you want to be like that, is absolutely gorgeous. That head, I, I love it. You know, those red eyes underneath the green visor, the colour schemes coming together beautifully. It's a class act. While I loved the individual alt modes, the robot modes were in danger of perhaps dragging down my perception of this set. But this just puts them right back up there. I've seen a few configurations with the back wings up, and I quite like it. Combine the guns together, and you've got a little shield on his arm, and you're looking at an all-timer combiner. Honestly, a few extra joints here and there, especially ankle tilt, and this would stand up to anything put out today. A big thank you to my good friend Joe, who has loaned me several Transformers over the years, but now it's time to get them back into their bubble wrap and out of the house. Okay, see you next time.